Now, for this one, if I want to solve this, first step, add the 2 over, then divide by 5. Once you get your, law, your sorry, exponent by itself, you want to change it to a log. So you put the word log in front. You switch these two pieces. Log base e is ln minus the 3 over. And then once I do that, I have this negative 1 I have to divide over. Now, you could have left it like this. That is actually pretty good. It's just I notice when you divide by negative 1, it just switches the signs. So again, log base e is ln. And then you've got to get the x by itself. So when you have an exponent, once you get it to an exponent by itself, you change it to a log, and you get your answer. You could put this in a calculator and get the answer as well. Here, you add 1 over, divide by 3. Now that you have your log isolated, you drop the log, switch these two. So when you drop the log, you switch these two, you get e to the third. This goes right here. You minus the 4 over. e to the third, you don't know that value. It's kind of a crazy decimal. So just minus this over. So we have this. You have a minus 2x. You minus the 2x, sorry, you divide by negative 2x over which this would cancel. And that simply is your answer, which you could, again, put in a calculator and get that value. For number three here, where is the first mistake, or is there one? Well, from here to here, that is an OK operation, because minus means divide. So that simply would be x over x plus 2. That is a fine and dandy logarithmic property. Next. How do you get from 1 to 2? That's kind of hard for people. But technically, here's what happened. This right here, isn't this log base e? So if this is log base e, isn't this e to the 0 equals this inside? What's e to the 0? e to the 0 is 1. Got it? Log base e. This is base e, so e to the 0 is 1, so this equals 1. That is hard for people to see. They didn't think of e to the 0 equaling 1. Anything to the 0 is 1. Now, how do you get from here to here? It's called cross multiplying. Either, or, can I just multiply both sides by x plus 2? Or you put it over 1 and you do a cross multiply proportion. But from here to here, that's feasible. But from here to here, you can't solve that. When you minus the x over, doesn't it cancel all the x's out? And there's no answer? No solution? There actually is no solution to this. OK? So this is not the answer. Again, the x's would cancel out, not having an actual value. 